devoted husband to his lovely wife, Anna, caring and loving father to his sons, Hal and Caleb. And on occasion, not a bad golfer. <laughs> I know he would have been very gratified to see all his friends and colleagues who came out to pay tribute to this wonderful, wonderful man. One of whom I'd like to bring up right now, Freddie Funkhauser. I miss him. Thank you. Saul was a terrible golfer. Unless there was a little scratch on the line, then he was Jack Nicholas. <laughs> and I loved him. Oh, Freddie, he loved you. These moments matter. And to look out and see everyone here who made such a sacrifice to be here, I know for the family it means everything. Larry David uh, couldn't make it here today. He got stuck in traffic and he turned around and went home. Wow. Oh you know, Saul's the kind of guy that would give you the shirt off his back, even if it was his favorite one. He wouldn't care. And if he was the one to stain that shirt, guess what? He would have given you his favorite shirt back. He wouldn't just put his head in the sand and make it uncomfortable for everybody. Probably giving you two shirts. A lot of dirty looks. Uh, Freddy. What? Well, when he spoke, he said Larry David couldn't be here today because he got mm. stuck in traffic and turned around. What? Is he nuts? Why would he do that? I That's don't crazy. Know. I don't know. It's because I ruined his favorite shirt. I stained it. Who gives their favorite shirt oh, out? No, no, Who no, loves it? You don't do that. No. No. And by the way, so what if I missed the funeral? Mm -hmm. I went to his second wedding. I went to his 60th birthday party. How many things is somebody supposed to go through in their life? It's crazy. Then throw in a graduation on top of it, a bar mitzvah. Yeah. I mean, there's no end to it. What do they want from you? None of this is your fault. It's no. all Gabby's fault. Yeah, because she's got a big she... mouth. Mm-hmm. All right, you ready for this? What? I know what happened with Hal. I figured it out. What? She must have asked for a secret on their date, then told everybody about the mother-in-law. No doubt about it. That's it. You nailed it. She's a blabbermouth. What an idiot. Yes. Who goes on a date and goes, by the way, I fucked yeah. my mother-in-law? <laughs> it's so it, crazy. It's crazy. But that's why he's not talking to you. So you're, you're done with her? You're not going to see her anymore? Oh, no, I'm going to see her. Oh, you are? Oh, yeah. Mm. Ah, Mr. Takahashi. Mr. Takahashi. In honor of Saul Berman, the club will be mourning. So, no levity. Smiling, okay? No, not even smiling. Chuckling? No chuckling. Hey, let me ask you a question. Did you ever uh, go to Katsuya? Oh, Katsuya? Yeah. Yes, my favorite. Could you do me a favor? I, I left an umbrella there, and they won't give it back to me. Why not get a new umbrella? Oh, because you can't replace this umbrella. It holds up in gale force winds. It never goes inside out. It's the best umbrella I ever had. No umbrella like that. This umbrella is like that. Sodaska. What does that mean? Is that right? Oh, Sodaska. 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 Anyway, what do you think? Could you get it back for me? No. <laughs> <laughs>